How to Use Balabolka, Part 4. In this part of my How to Use Balabolka series, I will be showing you how to save your spoken text as an audio file. Sometimes, it's nice to save a recording you've made with your TTS voice, but you're not exactly sure how to do that. Well then look no further than here, because you have definitely come to the right place. Balabolka is a Windows-only text-to-speech synthesis application that allows you to read out loud any words on the screen. You can use Balabolka to read articles, blogs, or even your own stories, essays, etc. However, if you want to keep that exact recording of your TTS speaking, then you will have to do one of two things, one of which is to record your TTS voice within another program like Audacity. However, for the purpose of this video, I will not be showing you how to do that. Instead, we are going to save our spoken text inside of Balabolka as an audio file, which can be listened to later on using something like VLC Media Player, or any media player you might have. First, if you haven't already, download and install Balabolka onto your Windows system. Balabolka will work on Windows XP Service Pack 2 and later, all the way up to the latest and greatest Windows 11 soon to be Windows 12, you can download the portable version if you wish not to install it onto your system, and to spice it up the aesthetics, you can download the Balabolka Scans Pack, and I highly recommend you find what TTS voices you have on Windows before proceeding with this tutorial. Windows 8.1, 10 and 11 have Microsoft David and Sierra as the default voices, Windows 7 and Vista have Microsoft Anna, Windows XP has Microsoft Sam. You get the idea. Next, you will need to open Balabolka, and type in something for it to say. I will be writing a short sentence just for demonstration purposes, and then we will save this as an audio file. Once finished, go up to File, and then look for, Save Audio File. You can press Alt-S to save it quickly or more conveniently. You will then need to find a location or folder to save your audio file in. Once finished, Go ahead and listen to the audio sample you have just created. Hello. My name is Microsoft Sven, and I am the default voice included on Windows XP and Windows Server 2003. I am well known for sounding like crap and being unable to pronounce some words correctly.